Oh. Oh my. That's not good. That's 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 not how trains are supposed to be. Just saying. Wait, did someone try to clean the blood? What's 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 going on here? Oh. I do wonder. That's a lot of blood though. Um I guess we're gonna find out what happened. Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot. <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? I have absolutely no idea what happened. It looks like someone died here. This looks very bloody. Some flies around. Some shoe. But why is the whole train derailed? I mean, train doesn't give a damn if it drives over a person. Train couldn't care less. Train is all like, lol. That's, that's basically what it does. I know I'm not supposed to be here because Wendy probably wants me to follow her, but I'm just following this side quest thing. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Wendy. Stop making a big fuss about things. It's not all about you. We all have problems, okay? Thank you. So, junction box. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't need a phone. Why would I look for a phone? Maybe I can also go down there and then catch up again with Wendy. Would make sense. What's that saying? Junction box out of commission until further notice. Oh, that's great. That's great. I mean, the fuck would I do with a junction box anyway? Who, who am I going to call anyway? But, oh. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. What? They've taken my shoes, sir. You're off Howard? the rocker. Howard Lantham. You this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen, he told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said we couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy, he'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm gonna find my son. Then I'm gonna ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Black Dog Run Valley. Well, that's, a, that's an oddly specific name. Tipworth Junction, that's where we are. Wow, we actually made quite a, a quite a distance from Yorkton through the forest and now up here. Oh, cool. Where's the observatory? It's all the way back there. I don't think we're going to go back to the observatory. Maybe, I don't know. I'll, I'll see where it takes us. There's the gate. It's open so we can't catch up. Ah, with us there. Now more dead birds, of course. Aw. So dead, so sad. It's the saddest thing. Oh, yeah. It really looks dramatic over there. Wonder how it got derailed. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe driving over a person would derail a train. I mean, I I never driven a train, nor seen someone getting driven over by a train, which you know I'm grateful for. I'm following. I'm following. Wait, you're just running, walking back. I don't I don't know if this makes sense. Wendy, that's where we're coming from. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are you doing, fireball? Oh, jeez. Fine, I'll follow. I got a feeling I gotta go this way. But I'll follow. Maybe there's another thing to trigger her. Just making sure. They usually bounce between the waypoints. Ah, that's where you're going. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, girl. I got you. Oh, it's a life ring. Jeez, you're scaring me. 
It seems odd that there's a life ring there, isn't it? I mean, this is not very deep. I can probably walk in this. Yeah, there you go. So why why is why is that a thing? It seems overkill. Oh, hi. It's one of those. Whee. Fancy seeing you here. Oh. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just Robert. <laughs> Oh, Robert. That man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mithering old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? Ah, oh, you look right I through me. it is. I have to accept it. I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what they do up there, it's not natural. There it's some an observatory. You're not supposed to understand. Well, I, I'll give you that. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Kate is the worst. Oh, wait. Are those dragonflies? Oh, it's dragonflies. They're dragonflies. Hey, guys. I don't know why I'm so engrossed with them. I mean, wouldn't mind them flying around and be a little bit more logical other than just going in circles round and round. But I'll take it. I'm, I'm glad that they... That's a little touch. So it's very life place. What is all of this dust floating around? When I walk through the woods, I don't see all of this dust floating everywhere. It's really weird. Where are we going now? If you if you if you carry me up to the to the junction box, I'm not interested. Okay, we're going down the road. Fantastic. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. You're stopping. Why? I guess just a waypoint. Hmm. Intriguing. I do hear a radio there. Oh, that's where you want, to, want me to go? Fine. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Oh, he's got bees here? Oh, yeah. I can feel it reaching out to me. Oh, yeah, they're even flying around. Sorry, Kate, I'm not listening. I'm looking at bees. I'm overcome with the most profound sense of loneliness. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you had that inside. There's some bees flying around, buzzing. Can I go in? Because I can't see the building. Nope, can't. Well, I'm just gonna scoot by, thank you very much. Well, Wendy, where are we going next? What's your, what's your plan now? Wait, I'm not gonna go to that. Fine, I'll go to that house. Clearly wants me to go into the garage. Okay, we, we gotta stop it with the dead birds. This is starting to creep me out. Just dead birds lying everywhere. It's just, it's, it's, ah, it's creepy. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Barb's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Okay, a message for her daughter, I guess? Yeah, fine. Oh. Oh, for a second I was just like, what's going on? Muscles of the month. Boss Jake's new word. That's that's a really shitty cover, I gotta say. That's a really shitty cover. Muscles of the month. Oh well. 
Where are we going now? Where are you taking me? You're just gonna show me random places? Okay, someone either had an accident or just stopped the car in the middle of the street. Yes. Well, can't trust that brand of car. Jesus, come on, you bastard. Start, start, you bastard. Come on. Ah. Well, from this, I gathered that his car doesn't work. I don't, I don't know if that was necessary. Car doesn't work. And I figure that by, you know, the indicators Steven? being on. Steven? With a PH. Steven? I, I... Wait, is that all she said? Just Stephen? I figured there would be more. Stephen, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! He dead. No, I mean, Stephen was just roaming around. Oh, door is open. Let's see. I guess this is Stephen's house. What have you done, Stephen? Pegasus, Draco. It's alive. It's the only explanation. It still says 607. Interesting. All right, so you found something alive in the universe, and it came here. You channeled it, and you, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Killed everyone. Everyone's dead. That's what I gathered from this. Nobody's here anymore except whoever I am. I do wonder. I do wonder. I mean, I must be someone. I have no legs, I have no feet to speak of. But I do make, I move around. I do make noises when I walk. But I have no image. I'm a vampire. That's Stephen, probably the closest. Where is Kate? Are you here? More dead birds. Oh, one of those. My favorite scary floating orbs. I do like them outside because I get to see the night sky, which is super pretty. Better. Stephen, I can hear the planes. Oh, it's the government coming look at that. to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all gonna be all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. I don't know if those are jets. I'm here. I'm down there. Yeah, they're not gonna gonna this gonna hear way. you. Hmm. I mean, that might that might have been jets. Oh, and she's gone, just like uh, father something something, Jeremy. So I guess we're going to the next entity. And we're gonna follow the path here. Well, that was fairly interesting. Maybe this is the afterlife, and the place got actually got nuked. As they said. I mean, I assume everyone's actually gone to the rapture. Otherwise, the title would be quite misleading. Still waiting for that twist at the end. Yeah, this is fine. Just walking through the woods. I see nothing wrong with that. Well, so far, I'm, I'm fairly intrigued by the story. We're just getting more and more little pieces of what's actually going on. Which reminds me of other... Well, fairly good games. Oh. You see the like, shadow shoot across my face. It's been an engine thing. That's like the odd thing when you have a game that, you know, is based around exploration and visual markers and cues. Wait, am I walking back down? Am I on the right path? I do hope so. I think this is still the right path. Yeah, it must be. At least I hope so. Oh yeah, there is there is a, a glowy thing. Um, anyway, games that are based around exploration and visual markers and cues, you kind of uh, uh, sometimes get misled by... Just artifacts. Okay, who is this now? Is it Barbara? Is it Lizzie? Frank! Oh my, Frank! Well, Frank. 
Tell me about your story. Oh, nice view. I'm gonna go with that Battlefield 1 mission. We have to disable the tanks. Hmm. I appreciate that. Uh, where are we? You are here! I Appleton Farms! Aww! Farms. It's nice in the... Is it sundown, sunset? It's raining in the distance. Sorry, choir people, I'm not listening to what you're singing. I just hear that you're singing. I have followed the light. That's, you know, very I'm fitting. Frank, I've done my time. They shouldn't keep on punishing me. Some folk won't let go of this, and they've got nothing better to do than to poke their noses into other people's business. There's nothing you can do about it, son. I'm doing a good job. I'm working hard. I swear, Mrs. Graves thinks I'll start nicking stuff if she turns her back for a second. This is all right. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, well, she's not exactly honest with her husband about what she gets up to. None of that. You're angry about people judging you. Don't be so fast to judge others. <sighs> I'm sorry, Frank. Keep your gob shut, your nose clean, and your head down. Do you think you can manage that? Gob, nose, head. Got it. And steer clear of that Rachel girl. If I've seen you two making eyes at each other, then so's her dad. And you don't want Sam Baker coming round after you. Now, pass me that socket spanner, and we'll see if we can get this wheel back on. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I, I don't know what to take from this. But I do gotta say, the writing and the voice acting is really fantastic in this game. It feels so genuine. Like, you know, something like an actual conversation that would happen. Oh, there you go. Pretty tree on a, on a, on a meadow. Or on a field. No, oh, that's gorgeous. You know, environments like these just want me to... I want Firewatch 2. I'm just... Ah, forests. This is a little too rural for me to, you know, kind of kind of like the, the deserty mountains. I don't know. Yes. Someone's been drinking here. Oh, sorry, I got it. I heard Steven in there somewhere. Okay. Can you see the observatory from there? That's over the ridge, just past the windmill. Uh. You want to live near the station in case you need a quick getaway? Something like that. <laughs> so you and Steven, I'm sensing there's not a lot of love lost there, huh? That's between him, me, and the cows. You're going to have to explain that one for me. It's nobody else's business. Look, you seem all right to me. You don't want to worry about that lot in the village. Provided I'm left alone, I'm happy. Steven's the one who likes to be at the center of things. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Francis Appleton. You are a bad man. No wonder your sister won't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Francis Appleton. Oh, that's him. I, I got I got confused with Frank, but I guess Frank is his nickname. Maybe. Maybe I'm misinterpreting the whole situation. Yes. Lodi fireball of doom and death and destruction. So far I'm not 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 sure that they're good or bad or anything. They're just floating around and given that people were bleeding out of their noses and light was coming with those blood clots. I'm not entirely sure that this is a good thing that's floating around here. Am I, am I going the right path? Pretty sure I'm supposed to follow the, the light, but you know, this seems fairly good. Seems like a good area to be at. Well, if not, we get to explore at least a little bit of the environment, so I'll take that. A oh, little, little river. Wow, that's that's some splashing. Oh, we found the radio. Fantastic. What's with all these people making picnics? cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insects seems to prevent a full-blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stevens wrong. This isn't an attack. It's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate. Huh. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon. 
So it's an it. Okay. It's the light. It's, it's the gird. Girdness. Oh, cool little shed back there with a trailer. Trailer hitch. Trailer thingy. Man, that is one clear pond if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah, if you can look to the bottom of a lake like this, this is, wow, this is impressive. Should be a little bit less transparent, mid, bit, tad more green. You guys, this is very clear. Oh, excuse me. We are at Yacht and Pond. Huh. We've been at the mill? No, I don't know. Maybe. Where's the mill? I'm confused. Uh, there's a bucket. Just in case you need a bucket. I'm just gonna ignore that. What's going on here? Another signal we can tune into? I'm gonna assume it's just gonna happen on its own. Maybe that is its way to communicate with me. Is oh hi. Is by showing me scenes so I understand what's going on. Maybe that's its way to communicate. Yes. Breaker, breaker nine, call in on nine. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? Breaker one nine. Breaker travel in Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, Hello? My family. My, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Damn it. Don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me no. about sacrifice, you, you stupid, little stupid shit. You stupid bastards. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Okay. He got onto them. Tell them. The time when we have a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. Oh, so Stephen caught on. Uh, Frank listened to Stephen and Clive conspire to nuke them. I'm not entirely sure how Stephen and Clive are involved with each other and what their positions are. I think Stephen was working at the observatory as well, as well with Kate, so... Shouldn't he be in on this? I don't know. It, it seems odd. I wonder what the painting has to do with everything. And it's like smearing blood on the door frame to stop something from coming in. That's why he painted the infinity symbol on the door. I, I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Wade called me in about six weeks after. Once he thought I could cope with knowing. Can I ever repay you for what you did? She was a good woman, Frank. The best. I guess I'm talking about back Mary. To church, back to the community, you're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him too. I, I guess I'm talking about God. Frank goes against the job description somewhat. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him. Even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Um, okay, so. Regardless of anything, where are we going now? Ugh. So, yeah. I guess Frank was... Mary's father, maybe? Definitely not as hus her husband. Maybe I I honestly don't know. Seems like it, and that Jeremy killed her with, or gave her an opportunity to kill herself with morphine. Oh wait, oh there there's the there's the floaty ball. I went the wrong way. My bad. Floaty balls all the way back there. Uh, should I? Ah, I'm just gonna walk over there. I'm pretty sure I can catch back up to it somehow. Mm, little brook, little river. Very good. Huh. Ah, another radio freaky message. Yeah, somebody definitely wrote those down and figured out what's going on. Okay, I'm going out here. Ah, there seems to be something waiting for me. Hmm. I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. 
Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. There has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. I think you should have talked to someone about that. You know, someone that kind of gets it. Then again, you gotta understand, like, the signal... Even if it's trying to communicate, people don't really like it when they're bleeding out of all of their face holes. When someone just talks to them. Okay, I'm going to try to make my way over there because that's where the glowy orb was. I kind of feel that this house is where I need to go. At least that's my best bet at this point. I feel I just took a, like, sidestep. Yep, I hear it. I heard the beeping of the radio coming from over there. Oh yeah, I hear you. I'm coming. Okay, where's the entry to that? Can I just squeeze by the bushes here? Nope. It's one of those invisible wall bushes. There you go. Uh, the sky kind of looks foreboding when it's like rainy. Really looks, really does look foreboding. I'm, I'm trying to tune in. Oh, you want me to follow? Okay. Ah, the shed. Okay. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. Is that my all? Face is still numb from the burn. Oh my. From the burn. The whole... F okay, you gotta stop it with the creepy ghost sounds. I don't like it. Okay, I guess we're going in. The light flickering, it looks like it. Mm. Okay, I'm going upstairs. This place looks a little bit desolate. A little worn down, so to say. But yeah, we're following the flex. Clearly wants me to go here. Oh, hi. Oh, is this where... Where Mary died? Who knows? Let's, let's listen in. How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her, see if she's all right. Dr. Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. <laughs> it's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night, now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. Yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches. The council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. Oh, okay. So I guess this is where Mary died and yeah, all the stuff is here. Didn't need any more. There's oxygen down here. I'm gonna say she had cancer. That's gonna be my guess. She had cancer. You know, took care of her. Like in hospice. Maybe. Well, and we're gonna head out. Yeah, I see you. Don't worry, I'm coming. Where are you heading? Are you heading down left or right? I don't know. I just see you hovering around there. Don't you worry. Okay. Looks... I, I gotta have a look. Looks kind of weird through the glass. Like it's... Like... Not, like blurred? I wonder. That's probably an effect. An intended effect. I was just wondering about it sometimes. Oh yeah, it actually is an intended effect if you look. Huh. That's some really shitty glass then if it makes everything blurry. But I do appreciate the effect. Anyways. Wait. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the building, I'm pretty sure. Uh, do I have to... Can I walk through the... There. Sheets. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, shite. There must be a way out of this. Yeah, there's a... There's a gate. Pretty sure I can open that. Yep. And someone left some stuff there. Oh, and they just tried to get out with a shopping cart. I guess that's one way to do it. Don't worry, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So impatient, bouncing around in eagerness. 
trying to get me to come over. I'm working on it. Hmm. It definitely got, like, I don't want to say rainy. That's the wrong word. What is it? Um, covered? It looks like it's going to rain. I wonder if it's going to rain later so on. So, he managed to get the transfer to the observatory then? Well, this Catherine woman must have swung it. Now he says they're getting married before they come back. It's typical. Why can't he just wait till he's home? Are you going to go? Goodness, no. It'll be full of her people. I expect they do things differently. Of her people? What do you, you what do you mean? Come in for a cup of tea. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, for Christ's sake, woman, it's been eight months. Won't you just come in and talk? Well, you didn't want to talk when Mary was still alive. You and Charlie Tate out drowning your sorrows when you should have been at home nursing your wife. You can be a oh, his wife. bird, Wendy Boyles. Frank Appleton, you come back here and say that again. Our mother always said you were a bad egg. You'll come a cropper, you mark my words. Ha. Huh. Okay, so she's his sister and his wife is the one that died. We learned a thing. Yay. We're smarter. Smarter with every step. Well, I'm not going to call you spirit. I'm just going to call you glowy death ball. Where are you going to take me now? Looks like you're going to take me to the mill there. To the windmill. At least that would be my best guess. Yeah, the quarantine didn't help much, I guess. Given that I could just walk around here. I haven't seen any uh, uh, blood in the buildings. So I do wonder if whatever was here. I mean, it must have spread here given that no soul is here. I haven't seen any blood recently. Doesn't mean much. Well, there's dead birds as well, so, you yeah. know. Go. Oh, thanks, Frank. Let's get it out of the way. There's swords in there. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. Oh, I only just put petrol in it as well. Robert's taken the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. He's dead. Oh, He's they must have a play. Because oh, there's a Robin Hood hat. Time, Frank. He's not a child. What's going on, Lizzie? Nothing. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Shit. Pardon my French, but bloody shit thing. Why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift. Huh. Well, Lizzie had an affair with Robert. I think it was Robert. Was it Robert? I don't know. Oh, why are you going there? Okay, we're going there. Fine. Fine, I'll follow you into the friggin' field. Give me a second. It is so gorgeous! Look at it. So good. But I do wish I had a bike. I, 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 I do gotta give it a little bit of criticism that sometimes it drags a bit. Oh, and it's getting definitely darker. Sun is kind of covered from the clouds there right now. Ah, my friend, the radio. The expository radio. I, I, where is it? Is it like... Ah, there! Tell me. Got the telescope up and running again, but the pattern has burnt itself onto the lens. It's soaking up light and radiation, but not routing it anywhere. So I can only guess that it's using it as an energy source in its attempts to communicate. It needs more power. Oh no, you brought the doom. Reception by using multiple towers. Ah, uh, you, you, you doomed us all, woman. You doomed us all. Anyway. Just gonna keep walking up there. There you are. I was wondering. Ooh, got some crickets going on. At least they're not dead. Good for them. Ah, there's another one of my favorite things. Frank! Frank, for God's sake, stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. 
You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley, it's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it! Jesus! Oh, my. You take one step closer, I'll bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God. All right, all right, I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. Don't you get it? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. Well, how are you going to confirm that everyone's dead if you're dead when you're staying here? It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, at least. Ah, well. Okay, floaty glowing orb, where do I need to go? Glowy, glowy, glowy orb, I saw you behind the fence. Oh, really? Are you gonna make me walk all the way back there? No, wait. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? I see you. See you. Can't hide from me. Oh, that pigeon. Poor pigeon. Poor pigeon. Okay, so where are we going now? You, we're walking back. Cause I'm just gonna follow you. I, I I decided that that's the way to go. That's the way the game wants me to do things here. Okay, we're going up the path. Oh yeah, there's a path. Fantastic. What is it called? The... Oh, it's called the Public Footpath. I don't know if you really need a sign for that pointing there. It seems rather silly. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Pretty. Very pretty brook. I wonder how Frank's story ends. I mean, it probably ends in him disappearing into little, you know, specks and floating off. All of a sudden. I just wonder what else is going to happen. I do like how the game slowly reveals everything. And that looks cool as balls. That's a really interesting looking windmill. I do wonder though, how does the windmill actually spin given that there's nothing strapped over the... Um, oh, is it on the other side? I think it's on the other side. I would have assumed that there would also be a covering to drag it. Nope, that's the thing that I guess gets part with the wind. And then this just turns. I would have just assumed that there would be like a cloth plane over it to keep it going. I don't know how these things work. I have no idea. I like to imagine I have an idea. Hi. What's that? Wait. Oh, you've been playing the, the, the skeet shoot game. This just like fires them off into nothingness and then you can shoot them. That's a friggin' good view. Anyways, what's up with you? Am I going to... I can't tune in to you, so... I'm just gonna have a look where we are right now. God, it's too bright. Oh, yeah, Appleton Mills. We might be able to make it back to the observatory. Seems like it, at least. Uh, okay, I guess you want me to go inside? That's, that's my best bet? Because I can tune in on you. Nope, that's locked can't tune in. You're just floating around, so there's nothing for me to do. And then just roam around. Can't do anything with a shotgun. Is this where you're living, Frank? Nope. Hmm. Well, that's fairly odd. You clearly want me to go there, don't you? And I'm hearing, like, the beeping of, like, a uh, heart rate measurement thingy. What, what, whatever the, the name of that is. The tape recorder. Not that I can do anything with it. Hmm. Well, now I feel a little stuck, to be honest. I, I don't know what you want from me, Frank. Frank, you gotta be a little bit more specific about your weird floaty thing. Can't, can't read your mind. Are we opening it? Because it sounds... Oh, yes, we are. Very good. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I need to check this out. Oh, yeah. Is that like a public pool or so? Looks like it. Yes, it is. It is a public pool. Cool.